What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here, and we are about to lose Wake. Kelvin won't construct. There's carcasses laying about. Uh, this isn't full. I don't know why they're not getting hauled. That I think we're just going to forbid and leave. Wake is <clears throat> no more. <coughs> oh, yeah. One last meal before you die, friend. Kelvin hurled. All right, and then Kelvin, can you bury that person? And this one we will set to no strangers. All right, well, that sucked. But I saw it coming a long ways away. And needs. Colonist died, minus three. That's gonna hurt a bit. It is winter. We do have a fair bit of wood. I think some extra brazers may be in order to try and keep this place decently warm. The hospital's all right. It's not like freezing, but it's definitely not pleasant. And these should, somebody must have just opened that door. Uh, I want Kelvin to get up and mine that out, and then I want to smooth the floor under there. Haul the block out of there, build a copy of this over here. It'll also provide some light in the hallway, so there you go, they should get that done in the morning. Yeah, it does drop to get pretty stinking cold in the evening hours. We are pulling heat from here. These being open and this being closed should make most of the heat go out this way, but it's definitely nowhere near what we need. It's only midwinter as well. Now, did we get through all those blocks? We did. Yeah, the goat's giving birth, but the goat's probably going to starve to death before too long. <laughs> Might be time to finally make that barn I've been anticipating for a while. Yeah, let's get rid of those. I'm going to double wall this for warmth inside. And I think for a barn, I can do something relatively big. Yeah, we can do that. Good. So cancel that. Yeah, I got this stupid thing here that's going to have to be moved as well. I also probably want a door over here as well. There you go. And two tiles, a door over here is going to be satisfactory. All right, so that should get me that... Uh, we should probably just keep the walls at an even pace and then put a door here. So the animals are finally going to get some kind of space. Maybe they deserve better, but maybe not. What is Sedge doing? She's harvesting trees. Why don't we cancel any harvest jobs on these? There. Uh, we do have one of these. It's going to be spoiled due to bad weather. There's nine of those on the map. We really wasted them. So if we ever get into making honey, we'll have to go find some f queen bees on other maps, most likely. This did not get built. What are my constructors doing? <laughs> Probably hauling shit. So I inadvertently harvested things from all over the map. Jester's headed out there. The Ibex is pregnant. Rest Tug is doing construction for whatever it's worth. Yeah, these are never going to last. We're, we just, unless somebody shows up like now to buy them, they're just going to be discarded, I'm sure. And Seji is working on this kind of in the dark. Smelting an Empire Staff. What does that get you? Wood and silver, but not a lot of either. Need to keep an eyeball on what she's working on there. All right, Harold, what are you working on? You're making meals again. We're down to six people, so we're making too many meals, but they should be okay. sedgy has gone to bed. I think we had somebody else doing crafting. Yeah, Jester, who we didn't know 
What else to assign? This better be Sedge. Shaman Merchant. That's fan fucking tastic. And Harold is our nighttime talker. Where are these bros? They're way over there. What are you doing, Harold? What's he up to? I'm gonna let him go eat, and then he can come out here and trade with these dudes. We're looking for a freezing statue to keep the food through the summer. Yes, they will buy all the queen bees. Badass. We just fucking cleaned up, dude. <laughs> and I'm waiting on a call, so I do have my phone on. Which is irritating as shit to me as well. Alright, so they do have potions. Really awesome potions, actually. Let's do crafting, construction. I'm going to try and build up some funds yet. So I'm not going to go bananas on this. But there's a melee one, which would be useful. But I'm not, not going to go that route. So let's get these dragged. Uh, we can just tell Harold to do it straight away. Jester's gonna fucking come out and do the rest. Alright, Jester. Unite all, bugger. Anyway. This didn't get built. What's Hurl doing? Building a spike trap. What happened to my door here? Maybe he just hasn't gotten around to it yet? I don't know. Alright, so growth is our primary objective. How can I facilitate growth in this in this game <laughs> I need more dwarfs that's the bottom line I don't overly want jester needs what the hell is that god damn muffalo <laughs> jester uh, by a he's not bad we'll keep him till he gets killed I guess I might floor this up too, with just some basic flooring. I do need some doors. Alright, who's this? Rest tug. Oh, someone built that. So good. That'll help with heat inside. And then we taking care of this will also help. I think I had a nice double door somewhere that I can do a copy on. There we go. Alright, so nice and fro not frozen. Oh, it's warming up outside already. Holy shit. Midwinter comes and goes, and then it gets warm immediately. That's, that's... And where's my door builder? What is going on here? Come over here and build this. This is a prime... It's not... I mean, it's important. So let's just get it done. While you're here, there's a trap that needs building, too. Thanks, buddy. It definitely helped to have the animals scatter about... Because they're not stepping on my traps every 30 seconds. Okay, we did have some potions. So we have a crafting, construction, cooking. All right, so construct. We have rest tug at a 12, hurled at a 12. You are a 1, you are a 2. And it, for crafting, we might just save these till we get other pawns. Yep, I think we will. They're raising our value, but we sold a bunch of shit, so it should be cool. We actually, those were pretty much free with the Queen Bee scam we just pulled. They could have anticipated that we would have gotten that straight away. I'm going to pop one of these doors in here and make it go in, and then we'll deconstruct this too. All right, so the animals will have a space. I don't think animals make body heat, sadly. We're doing great for wood. We're doing decent for steel. We've finished making a button-down shirt, so everybody should have good clothing. Kind of curious to see what... Oh, Sedgy's back to research. That's bananas. She'll actually get awesome magic points fast that way. Trade caravan has had enough. And Keldon is asleep. I just need to make sure he's staying active. I'm going to leave these here because at some point I'll probably do some beefy freaking walls to try and just block things off. I'm tempted to come up here and mine, but if I find open area and they can mine into my safe zone. Vulture does not sound like a Dowie. Uh, a vulture is being held under armed guard. It's a 47 year old housemate. I don't think so, friend. We can also probably, 
I want to wall this up. Nah, whatever. There's a goat stuck over there anyway. Ah, a lot of people have nothing to do again. That's fantastic. That means everything is finished. That's glorious. So, where do we go from there, people? We have bedrooms. In fact, we have one, one empty bedroom, which is fine. We could start on some of these rooms. Like, it does make sense to... What is this? This is somewhat impressive for a dining room. Are they still crabbed about that person croaking? Colonist died. Yes. Sky high expectations. That's no bueno. Can we do this yet? No. Okay. Hopefully the goats don't eat my flag. <laughs> Most disappointing. All right. Well, we have security in here. Let's generate the world. Cheers to the patrons. Adam C. Shroud. Benjamin D. Thomas K. Carey. Mahoney. Corner. Boater. Dimitri. Rui. Kid. Genghis. Keep. Ginger. Vitus. Groove. Lord. Gunnar. Orn. Ragnarsson. Michael. Sager. Patrick. Johnson. Resock. Roses. And Saber. Sebastian. Schaefer. Baba. Evac. Shiggy. Natasio. Grimm. James. Varley. Nagar. And Avash. Five. So any of these little settlements that are under the control of the ash executioners would be awesome, but there's no red ones, so we're kind of bound in that regard. What's this? Who is, let's go check that quest. Vultures break, the ash, the ash, so that's probably our option right there. So if we load up a caravan, we leave like, Maybe nobody to defend. Maybe like just Harold or somebody fly over there. How long does that have messages, quests? 14 days. And it's cold enough that food isn't going to spoil. I think that's going to be what we do. We maybe leave that guy but take some dwarven prisoners. <laughs> it's a Javis life over here, but we don't really have the means to do that without getting ourselves killed. All right, bedrolls, bitta. What do we have for material? What's this? Camel hide, pig skin, light leather, heavy fur. Let's make a couple out of heavy fur. And I think we have, we have five, but some of them really sucked. Good, excellent. You can tell which ones we built versus which ones we captured. This one is excellent. All right, so let's make three more Two out of heavy fur. And anything else that seems worthwhile for that? What's that? Pig skin? No, no. Oh, we can do blue fur as well. Ah, uh, blue fur. All right, there we go. Okay, so we're going to make some meals. Bed rolls are done. We're going to leave Hurled here. Whatever it's worth. <laughs> What is this? Look at these things. They just... Pegmatite meteorite. That's interesting because it's a different color stone, but... Otherwise, it's fine. So as soon as Harold gets done making these meals, probably in the morning, actually, I think we'll head out. And hopefully he can hold the fort. <laughs> it's it's going to be tough. Our wealth is getting pretty significant. And it's all... Well, buildings is significant. Because dwarven shit's expensive. Oh, nice. A party will be good. So, <clears throat> Jester's going to cook as well. Yeah, that's fine with me. Six up. So, yeah. We'll see how this goes. In the morning, though, we head out. And we take most of these meals with us. We leave Harold so he can cook some more. And we leave Harold to defend the fort. <laughs> the fort. The base. He should also... Nice, there's a psychic smooth soothe too. He, psychic smooth. He should be able to build a build and construct to keep things going. I like these lights from the mining hats. They're fantastic. All right, good. Everybody's off to bed. In the morning, we go over there and see if we can capture a dwarf from that lot to bring back to imprison. And one thing we can do. Seji does have a magic point, so we could use this and then quickly use it again by using that magic point. It slows us down overall in our magic progress, but it does make things possible immediately, so there's that. I actually think I'm going to leave Jester too. He's Night Owl also. He's going to be crabby if we bring him with on this. 
It would be nice to have that extra magic, though. So, um, I think we go. Seji, where do you think's the best place to build this thing? Because we're going to be packing shit from over here. I guess we'll bring it over here. There's no good way to get out over here, but there it is. All right, so transport one. Pow. Undraft. Load a launch group of one. Harold gets to stay. Yeah, we don't have a lot of capacity. We may end up having to hoof it back, but these donkeys are pretty heavy too. I think I will leave Jester just to free up some weight. And just in case I need to bring the bed rolls, where are those at? There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Meals. I'm going to assume no one's going to die on this. 3.3 should be sufficient. Medicine's probably going to be important as well. And can we bring a couple burros? I uh, don't anticipate doing any trading as a part of this. Maybe we sell some shit. But... So if I bring a donkey, 84 kilograms. I was looking, oh, those are the foals. So we can definitely bring a donkey. I guess we'll do that as well, just in case we have to hoof it back. Why did not my capacity go up when I did that? Oh, it did. There you go. Caravan mass, total mass for this load. Okay, yeah, that actually makes the caravan walk a little faster. So can we take Jester then? We could. Uh, yeah, but we're 40-something away then. So is there anything else? I think that's fine. What if we brought all the silver just in case we did a trade and the gold? And the problem with these is it's going to take forever to load up. All right, let's do it. Load it up, people. Load it up. Flash storm. And we're ready. Uh, we're going here. Drop it edge. I'll be just saying, hope that doesn't blow up any of my goats because there's a good chance that it will. All right. Uh, do we have any dwarfs? No. There better be a fucking dwarf here. <laughs> uh, Vulture is human. I see no dwarfs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people here. Well, all right, you guys. I'd like it if you'd pick some shit up. Uh, pick up that, that. Uh, I'm gonna load these things. All right, up. here we go. Let's get them. I had to make Seji uh, meditate as well. Gleaming Arrow 3, do it. Nice work. That didn't kill them. Nice. Okay, that did that fool in. We can wait for our gleaming arrow to recover. What's going on here? Why are they all in the prison? And right, we're gonna focus on the Skaven momentarily. Jester, gleaming arrow, and the Skaven. Nice work. Sedge. Can't do it again yet. It's still. You might shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. He's got two weapons. Quick. All right, you dudes, you're up. Melee, melee. All right, melee level 10. He missed us. Got him. All right, that's two. Two out of how many? <laughs> two out of eight? Yeah, unless there's somebody hidden inside. So if we focus our magic, we should be in okay shape. I don't want any friendly fire, so I'm going to bring this dude around. You there, you there. Two gleaming arrows we can shoot. Who looks the most scary? I don't want this dude to get a hold of us, so I think I'll gleaming arrow that dude. Because I don't want to be shot from range. Gleaming arrow that guy. You, you dudes get ready, because here it comes. Miss. Bloody hell. Alright, now you're in the shit. Why don't you... Final trans, I should have done that. No, not that. Uh, you can't do fuck all. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we waited out. You murder face on him. Health. Just a couple bruises. That's great. Said she's getting her ass kicked here. Alright, now you go over there. Can anybody do a gleaming arrow? Alright, they're done. Over here. 
claim. 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 I think we're going to leave this guy. <laughs> we freed him, but I don't really want him. Here, all you got to do is hold open. Seji was injured as well. We need to get... Yeah. Nothing. Nothing worthwhile, anyway. I don't know where my donkey is. The magic's going to dissipate. That guy's free. Uh, let's just go. World. Here. Reform. There. Accept. Not going to take alpaca. That really chaps my ass. We should have totally done better than that. But we'll have plenty of food to get home. And a cloth bed roll the boot. And... People and animals, we don't want alpaca items then. <clears throat> These beds are 30 kilograms each. We do have a burrow, right? Indeed. Anything worthwhile? Torch lamps, doors. Are there any good quality beds? No. <laughs> Steel tables. This shit we can probably sell, but like this is worth something. These are actually really valuable. Not going to load up a bunch of chunks. They're too heavy. Might as well load up beds. 30 kilogram. So we can take some beds back for deconstruction. Yeah, I don't know, man. That seems like a waste. It really slows us down, too. We have plenty of food either way, so I guess we'll... I could just form the caravan and load up and go home that way instantly, but I'd prefer not, not to waste that magic point. Alright, so 3.3 days, time to destination, which is weird. A magical delivery has arrived. Oh, fucking more gold, dude. It's glorious. There's a fire burning down here as well. Well, that was less than spectacular. We did what we could. So we're going to keep our eyes peeled for things related to that faction, because they will spawn dwarves and we can capture them. 3.2 with 5.5 days of food. It is what it is, right? Hopefully nothing bad happens back home. They're going to get home and find everything overrun by goblins or something. That deer will take as well. There's a wolf. These stupid turtles just hang out forever, man. I've been dead up there for a hundred years. Harold's just going to spend his time running around hauling shit. Alright, that's good. This guy... No, I think they're good. that one might go down. He's got moderate blood loss. And he's still bleeding pretty heavily. I had some yaks join. Yak. Yak one. Yeah, there's a breeding pair of yaks. Not in a pen. Harold, can you not assign to handling? Okay. All right. Well, more creatures we can't really feed, but. Easy food, so. That's so disappointing, by the way. <laughs> I really was hoping we'd get something awesome out of that in the form of a pawn. Where are all my blocks? There we go. We have 2,200 blocks. So, floors, claystone. Uh, one thing we could do is make hay floors. I'm going to hold off on doing anything with it. Smooth the surface. Under there. Saji is fully healed. Let's go double check our health sitch. You're good. You will be fine. You will be fine. Alright. Everybody's in decent shape. I do have pet animals starving. Where's my other yak? What's Harold doing? Where is the yak? <laughs> there it is. Go get that yak brought in. I think... Let's go compare these guys. So they are pack animals. Leather amount. Where does it say? Carrying capacity is 158. Does it say movement speed? Because they might be slow. They do make milk. Alright, donkeys are gone. Animals, donkeys... Done. I might just. We can't feed them anyway, so <laughs> it's kind of like 
All right, so stockpile zone. We're gonna have to put some food out. Critical clear, raw food, vegetarian, Neutrofungus, and uh, I have to keep a close eye. Um, where's the damn fungus? I think I can forbid some stacks to facilitate them doing this properly. I'm not holding my breath, but it should work. Oh, these doors have to be held open as well. If we want them to actually use this space. <laughs> I could move this inside, I think. This dude is starving to death. Oh, it's pregnant. And it's starving. Oh, that's unfortunate. How long till you lock it back? 1.9 days. Ugh. That was a big freaking waste. It's all about the RNG, man. Alright, they're all eating. So that's good. I should grow some hay for next year. Just turn this into a hay zone over here or something. And there's a donkey that didn't quite make it over here as well. And there's some warpstone fuel left over from our trans our magical transporter that we generated. 1.4 days. I swear to God, Harold does nothing but sleep. <laughs> and then eat without a table. Slept in the cold. Night owl in daytime. Ate without a table. No, we're already not getting milk. I'm going to take him off handling. He's doing a shitty job. He is butchering, though, so that's fine. Temps are getting slightly too warm here already, too. 103 troll mate just want, went away. Another prego goat. Traps are getting stepped on. Animals have flu. <laughs> Tell me you're a doctor, friend. Admiring gold. Which, which animals had the flu? <laughs> I could just put them down. He's getting meds. We're fucking gonna... I'm not gonna do that. Just tend them without it. It's fine. Good thing we brought meds on the road. You're just gonna tend one and bail, huh? That's nice. Yeah, I think we will make hay for the spring. I don't want more growing to have to happen because... It's very resource, or not very, very time intensive, but here it is. We need it if we're going to keep these critters. So there you go. 0.7 days. We do have a magical arrival mishap. Damn it, still not a human. Chemical fascination, wimp kind. Strip. It's <laughs> about all that guy is going to be good for. Where are these dudes then? Uh, zero days away. You might want to... Sorry, feral. And they're back. Hey, look. There's a muffalo chilling. Take a few blocks while we're at it. Someone has the donkey. Walk by poor feral who's just laying there. Suffering. This donkey needs to get put out of my misery. Not assigned to handling, already in pen. Alright, I'm gonna dump its gear. A couple shitty spears. Wasn't worth taking that, dude. Well, that's gonna be it for now. Please leave a like if you're enjoying. Leave a comment that you read them all. I do respond. I appreciate you guys being with me today. That was a very disappointing episode. I feel frustrated. I'll see you next time.